And so I'm not sure because it looks it looks to me like that's the other gate and the other gate is essentially the same leads to the same area, right? Like I can get over there. I'm 100% certain I can get over there. Like I can literally do it right now. There it is right there. I'm not I'm not certain what's so different about it, you know? But the goal is and I think where I'm going to stop is when we get to New Shioth. I should just take the road, honestly. <laughs> Last time I walked straight through the center of town basically. Oh god. It's Jared. Gotta help my boy out. Do the bones talk to you too? Dude, you know it. The gatekeeper's dead. He won't stop us from coming and going now. I mean, they made more gatekeepers before. What makes you think they won't do it again? The Argonian Big Head is always searching for the fork of horripilation. The Argonian Bye. Big Head. Later, Jared. Oh, too bad he can't follow us, eh? No, I wonder how it keeps track of how many times you've jumped. Like for acrobatics. Is it just an arbitrary number that you have to reach every time to level up? If so, would that mean there's like a jump counter and I can see how many jumps I've taken? That'd be an interesting stat. I don't know why, but I love stats in video games. Are you guys like that? I like to just see like random crap I've done. And you can do that too, like you can do that in um... Oh god. That dude's an archer. Like you can do that in Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout. I enjoy that. I wish sports teams did, or uh, sports games did that for like user modes, like say um... Say you're playing NBA 2K and you play my team. There's no like, there's no stats page, you know? And it seems like something so basic. Like, if I wanted to see how many points my Kobe Bryant or my, I don't even know, my Patrick Ewing, I love Patrick Ewing. Like if I wanted to see how many points him specifically scored in a my team game or over the course of all my my team games, you know, points per game. I'd love to see that. I don't know how feasible that is in terms of keeping track of every player I've ever owned. Or, you know, maybe they could only keep track of players you have. But that would be a really interesting concept. I would enjoy that a lot. I'm, pe I'm sure people like in Mud and uh, Hut too. And Futt for FIFA would like that. I think they actually do keep track of your stats in foot and uh, hut. Now that I think about it. I'm actually pretty sure they do and I looked at it a lot. I'm like 99% sure. What do you guys think? I would love it for 2k like I'm a huge oh my god. I'm a huge uh, NBA fan and the fact is there's no stats is so annoying. Like, even if it was just basic stuff, you don't need to do, like, advanced stats. Give me, like, points per game, field goal percentage, free throw percentage. You know, the regular stuff. Rebounds, assists, steals, blocks. But for each player over, you know, all the games I've played. So I've played, you know, I've, my Whoa. team seeds are kind of long, you know. Maybe I've played 25 games with my Patrick Ewing. I want to see, you know, his points per game. I want to see those rebounds per game, his blocks per game. That'd be cool. See which players are slacking for me. 
you know, not hitting shots. But I feel like, I almost feel like in that way, you'd kind of, you'd kind of expose their game, especially a game like 2K where everything's so, it's so hard to get like the perfect game. Oh God. Get out of here. You know, everything's so finely tuned. Not to say like FIFA or anything's like not finely tuned, but when you look at percentages, I think you'd see a lot of people more angry with the developers. You know, they'd see Steph Curry in their lineup. They go to check his three point stats and they'd see, oh, hey, my Steph Curry's only hit 30% of his three point shots. What's up with the three point shots? You know, there's probably something wrong with the way you guys coded this. I don't even know why I'm talking about this, honestly. I've just been walking through. Sh Mat or mania so <laughs> there's no real reason but what are your guys thoughts if anybody's listening love to hear them it's kind of a random tangent for the day and remind me if whoa what the frick oh remind me if uh, FIFA and hut and foot have that so I'm pretty sure they do Although, um, Mutt, or Madden Ultimate Team, does it a bit differently. Tell the Dane! Tell the Dane! Cons. Oh, oh, it's Con late. Crap. Um, there's a store I wanted to visit, actually. Thing is, I don't remember where it is. Tell the Dane. Tell the Dane. Sickly Bernice. Wait, is this the right place? I don't think I'm in the right place. Hmm. I could swear the place was right here. Are we in Bliss? Is this Bliss? Oh, this is Crucible. Oh, I need to be on the other side. I think. I think. There's a place I want to check out. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Things found. How may I it's serve? like... Errol's Mysteries. Never mind. This is where I want to go. Errol's Mysteries. There's a certain spell I want. Hello. Firm arms. A strong back. Yes, you'll do nicely. It's a shame. Time will ravage you, destroy you, wither you. But there are alternatives. Time need not slow you. Tell me, have you ever considered placing yourself on display? On display. Oh, yes. You see, I am a student of chronomancy, the magic of time alteration. Using magicka, I will slow your heart rate, your breathing, your movement, and your thoughts until they may as well not be functioning at all. You will be perfectly preserved, taken out of time, beautiful forever. I will display you with the rest in my collection. Uh, oh, too bad you can't say yes and just be displayed for all time. They should totally do that. That would have been so funny. Just make an autosave right before it happens and then just display you for all eternity. Oh, what a pity. Well then, what is it that I can do for you? And be quick about it. Every second that passes brings us closer to our graves. Um, okay, so this guy sells spells. And one of them is called, yes, Rejuvenate. So I want that one. And then there's Remedy. There's also Revive, but I don't have enough magic up for it. But uh, I'll buy it anyways. And then there's Salva. Salve, I guess. Snow Flare, I'll buy. He actually sells some really good stuff, in my opinion. Hailfire. But, um. Oh, that's actually pretty good. 
Cool. And then I think I can sell some crap. Is there anything I probably won't use? Mm, not really. Please come back soon. No telling what oddities I may have for you next time. Nice. And this guy's got some weird stuff, but I I couldn't find his displays. You know, he's talking about like displaying people. I can never find that. I wanted to actually find someone just standing there for all eternity. Unless maybe, oh god. Unless maybe chronomancy isn't a real thing, you know? That's a possibility. So what is our quest, by the way? Just seek out. Sh okay, it's just seeking out Sheogorath. Let's go talk to our I boy. Serve. Look at the guards too. Speak quickly. We got the Morgul. Golden Saints and then the Dark Blessings, Seducers. Pretty cool looking. And there he is. Always a pleasure. With our boy Haskell. Get him just clapping well, away. Well, look who's here. You. How about that? <laughs> he just claps. A new arrival. A shame about my gatekeeper. I'm so happy I could just tear out your intestines and strangle you with them. <laughs> I suppose an introduction is in order. I'm Sheogorath. Prince of Madness! And other things. I'm not talking about them. You've probably figured that out by now. Let's hope so, or we're in real trouble. And out come the intestines. And I skip rope with them. <laughs> but perhaps now's not the time. You've made it this far, farther than anyone else. Well done! Take this trinket of mine. Perhaps it will serve you well. Or look lovely on your corpse. I love the voice acting in this. Like, sometimes it's so bad and sometimes it's so good. And this guy, like, walks the line, you know? Like, his accent changes. If you listen to him, it'll just change randomly. I feel like he's doing it on purpose, you know? It is Sheogorath, so you never know. And look at that beard. That is a finely trimmed beard. They spend a lot of time working on this beard. I can tell you that much. I've been waiting for you. Or someone like you. Or someone other than you for some time. I need a champion, and you've got the job! Time to save the realm, rescue the damsel, slay the beast, or die trying. Your help is required. A change is coming. Everything changes, even Daedric princes, especially Daedric princes. Daedra are the embodiment of change, change and permanency. I'm no different, except in the ways that I am. The Grey March is coming, and you're going to stop it. The details aren't important, at least not right now. Eternity is on a rather tight deadline. We'll get back to that later. Now, you run an errand for me. An important one. Of course, anything I tell you to do is important. My realm, my rules. You're going to Zedillion, one of my favorite spots in the Isles. It's a little place I used to take care of unwanted visitors. And some 
are more unwanted than others. The gatekeeper takes care of most of the unwanted, but he's dead. We'll have to remedy that soon as well. Anyway, there are those that have other ways into my realm, and they're on the move. We don't want them here, trust me. So, you're going to get Zedillion up and running. Here's a little book to tell you how. And the Attenuator of Judgment. Uh, you'll need that too. Of course, you can always get more details from Haskell. He's a detail-oriented type of person. A big help. And a snappy dresser. Now, get going, before I change my mind. Or my mind changes me. This guy's insane. Um, I guess we could just ask him about stuff, you know? Really? No need to trouble yourself with the details of that now. It would just cloud your little mind. What is important is getting to Zedillion. Quickly! Before I get bored. Oh, you wouldn't like me when I'm bored. Ah, New Sheath. My home away from places that aren't my home. The current location is much better than some of the prior ones, don't you think? Yes? Speaking to me? Well, I'm he. He's me. And others as well. Or they were, weren't they? The Isles! The Isles! A wonderful place! A except when it's horrible. Then it's horribly wonderful! Good for a visit. Or for an eternity. A little busy here! I'm trying to decide what to have for dinner. Oh, how I love Jesus. eating. One of my favorite things to do. Talk to Haskell if you need more information. He's got more brains than a brain pie. Oh, brain pie. Perfect! Care to donate? Um, no. You can go now. Run along. So let's talk the to Haskell The Mad God has given you a details. task. Surely someone of your copious talent should be able to handle it. He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. Yes, quite an amazing place, really. Wonderful for relieving one's tension as you watch those troublesome adventurers suffer. No offense. I'd say your next move is to head to Zedillion and get it reactivated. Yes? Ah, silly me. The book has no pictures. Oh, Haskell, man. I can't really expect man. you to read that now, can I? <laughs> you bastard. To reactivate Zedillion for my lord's pleasure, you'll need to find three focus crystals and return them to their resting place. Each crystal has a matching receptacle called a judgment nexus. Even you can't miss them. Without the crystals in place, the resonator of judgment, Zedillion's power source, cannot be restored. You have the attenuator, the manual, and a map. I'm certainly not going to carry you there, so I'd suggest you get to it. Place one foot in front of the other. You know how it goes. God damn it, Haskell. You are such a dick. He has to make up for it with the egghead, you know? He's just... He's so self-conscious. That's gonna be me one day, honestly. I'm making fun of this guy, but... That is absolutely going to be me. And you know, there's nothing I can do. I'm going to be Egghead, just like a Always Haskell. A pleasure. Definitely going to shave the sides, though. You know, I can't, I can't keep Shoot. that like oh, him. Be gone. Things to Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. And when I come back, we will go fix the attenuator. 
and you know do all that stuff so i will see you later